passion. Start living your passion. For a long time, I thought I had career ADD. I went from neuroscience researcher to baseball card dealer, corporate attorney to nonprofit executive, and startup founder to angel investor. But now I know what I've been doing is searching for my passion. And I had time to contemplate this recently on my first trip to Yosemite, that most magnificent marvel of nature that's truly impossible to describe in words. I was so moved by the magic of Yosemite, I began to wonder, who do we have to thank for this? Well, I came across an unlikely hero whom I'll venture to guess most of you have never heard of, Galen Clark. Born in 1814 in New Hampshire, Galen fancied himself a successful entrepreneur running several businesses, including farming and furniture making, running a hotel and a grocery. But they all failed, leaving him poor and in debt most of his life. Now, as a fellow startup guy, I do admire his entrepreneurial spirit. Were he alive today, no doubt he'd be on his fifth failed internet startup. <laughs> While Galen thought that his passion was to be an entrepreneur, his true calling found him in unexpected ways. At 39, like many of his day, he moved west to find gold. Instead of striking gold, however, he contracted tuberculosis, and the doctors gave him just six months to live. So he decided to live the last of his life in the beauty of Yosemite. And there he lived, well beyond those six months, to the astounding age of nearly 96. <laughs> Galen's passion for the land and his unconstrained imagination enabled him to envision an America that protected Yosemite for future generations, a radical idea of his time. As humble host of Yosemite, Galen influenced the power brokers of the day who later convinced President Lincoln to sign the Yosemite Grant, effectively creating the first national park in America. Galen was then appointed guardian of Yosemite to protect and preserve the land for over 20 years. Galen is perhaps best known for discovering and saving these giant sequoia trees, some of the oldest and largest living things in the world. He truly spoke for the trees, even before it was trendy. During his life, Galen was known simply as Mr. Yosemite. Now, how did this man, who had no mountaineering experience and no early inclination for such a life, become the father of Yosemite? Well, rather than lament his fate as a failed businessman, Galen adjusted his attitude to embrace his passion for Yosemite leaving a legacy he couldn't even have imagined. At the time before Galen was guardian, there were about 100 visitors a year to the park. Today, every year, more than four million of us enjoy this amazing natural wonder. Galen's story inspired my latest passions. There's that career ADD again. Uh, I'm writing a book on his life, and I'm working with Yosemite Conservancy on a nonprofit to continue the important work of this true American hero. So, for those of you who have found your passion, congratulations. For the rest of us, here's the good news. It's never too late. Galen found the big trees at 42 and was appointed guardian at 52. Start living your passion today because as Galen's life teaches us, when you're living your passion, who knows what your legacy will be? It might just be as awesome as Yosemite. Thank you.